Function Living. Hope you enjoy. May you please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. I offer cooking ideas, garden tips, hauls, and functional ideas, cleaning tips. Enjoy. Good morning. It's Teresa from Function Living. It is Saturday. I'm going to do my shop with me haul. I'm going to um, the one store I go to once a month. Usually right now I would go to Winkle. But we are going out of town for a couple of days. And I have a lot of stuff in my pantry. So I'm doing a very little spin this time. Probably the lowest that I've ever done. Um, we're not going to go to Winkle this weekend because we don't need that much food. And we're going out of town for a couple of days. So it makes sense to switch it and go to Winkle maybe next weekend um or maybe even costco i um have qualified for food stamps since november and i'm getting the run around right now um i found that i did qualify since november um, my appointment wasn't until january i believe 30th or whatever day it was and I qualified for November, December, but I made too much January and they we're trying to figure out my case because they're like, well, we can like, we, we're thinking about uh, canceling your case and having you reapply because you made too much of January or we were going to pay you and then you were going to pay us back. That's a big mess. But here it is March, middle of March, and I'm still not getting anything. And right now I lost, I don't have my unemployment anymore. So I qualify more than ever to get the food stamps and to get cow fresh and they're not giving it to me right now. They're still giving me the run, run around. They're saying they're short staff and they're still trying to figure out my case. And I'm like, well, I'm running low on food, you know, I, or I can make it for another week, but I'm going to, I don't have an extra income. Any, I don't have an income anymore and I need that, you know, I need it. I, I can use it. And he said we could call 211 to get, you know, food banks, which I've already been doing. <laughs> it's a mess. And it's like, okay, you guys are short stuff, so you're just going to tell everybody, so too bad, so sad, you can't get food stamps. We're short staff, so go, go get hungry, stay hungry. Sorry, but we can't help you. I don't know. That sounds just terrible to me. Anyways, I'm praying that I get it soon, and I'm hoping, too, that it works out so that way I get food stamps next weekend so I can go to Winkle or even if I get food stamps, they're going to owe me a lot. They're going to probably have to back pay me all this time, so I'm going to go to um, Costco, and I will stock up on a lot of things because one thing that I know that I need more of is foods that my kids come microwave when they don't like a certain meal or if I'm not feeling the days I'm not feeling good I do want to have some like hot pockets with pizza rolls and um frozen burrito corn dogs whatever you know like that kind of stuff I usually don't buy because I usually cook all the time but there's been days that I was down like not feeling good in it, and I'd rather have that stuff in the freezer than having to go to fast foods and spending a lot of money that I don't have because money's really tight, gonna be really tight now. So that's my goal, hopefully. And I'll just buy what I can because I don't have a big enough fridge and I don't have a deep freezer or anything like that. And my kitchen's small, so but I would like to like buy the bulky the things that we would use a lot and buy it in bulk so I don't have to keep buying that stuff. So okay. So I did say I'm doing a low spend. Pretty much wouldn't be spinning at all, but we always need something. So there we go. So this is going to be my menu for next week because like Monday we will be out of town still. So Tuesday we'll be back. I'm making pigs in a blanket and macaroni and cheese. Wednesday we're going to have creamy ham and potato soup, my son's favorite. I'll be home more that day. So makes sense because Tuesday I'm going to be coming back from out of town and I don't want to make anything that's going to take a long time. And I like to put my creamy ham potato soup in the crock pot. And I like it to cook most of the day. And um, Tuesday we'll be getting back and then I'm having a doctor's appointment. So I'm not even messing with all that. So Wednesday we're going to have creamy ham potato soup then. Thursday we're going to have teriyaki turkey meatballs and rice. Friday they'll be at their dad's. 
have to go back and commute again. Another hour and a half. Fun stuff. Traveling all week. Nice, especially with this weather. It's awesome. Storming weather. Oh, Lord. Okay, anyways. God's got us. Saturday, we're going to have white bean and chicken with cornbread. Um, I cannot remember his name for the life of me right now, but I'll mention the person's name, his or her name, when I make this Saturday. Um, it was in the comments. Um, I think it was like the second comment or something like that. So I'm going to make white beans with chicken. I think I have some chicken left. I'm not all by it, but I'm going to check. I have, you know what? I do have chicken. I take that back. I have chicken in my pantry, the um, canned chicken and stuff. So I will use that. Um, Sunday's free choice. I figured if I do get food stamps or whatever, I'll just make them whatever we have home, throw it together. Or if I go to Costco, they can make whatever I buy. So I put my grocery list on the same paper this time. I just need some sodas. My I got used down for the pantry challenge for the week. Um, I did share that in one of my comments. Um, I posted that um, pantry challenge. So this week, for me, it's going to be yeast. I'm going to grab some yeast. I'm going to try to get more teriyaki sauce if I can find it. I'm going to the Dollar Tree store. And I'm also going to that one store. I call it the snack store. <laughs> Because it's mostly just have snack stuff we can um, get. Because I'm going to also take some with us when we go out of town this weekend. To save some money. So my kids can have some snack stuff. Canned cat food as always. I need to get some more cat litter. I need some fabric sheets. I need some dish soap. Some glue sticks. Some small ones. And some waters for the drive. So this stuff. I'm going to like I said Dollar Tree store. And I'm also going to that snack store. I don't think this snack store is going to have any of this. So go to the Dollar Tree store and I'm going to have to go to Big Lots for the canned cat food and the cat litter. And do you know how much I spent? But yeah, um, I don't really need too much from the Dollar Tree store. So I don't know, like I'm doing a really long video or anything like that. I'll probably just do a video of what I'm buying. Yeah, I don't really have time to do uh, what not to buy, what to buy at the Dollar Tree store. I've been wanting to do one of those videos, but I haven't done that yet. But today's a busy day. My aunt is coming from out of state, and my mom, she's picking my, my mom up on the way. She lives, my mom was about an hour and a half away, and I got to go check on my friend's cat and dog that are out of town and stuff before I go shopping so it's just a very busy day I gotta get back home and finish all my cleaning and so I really don't have time to sit here and do a bunch of videos so I'm just gonna do what I can and one day I promise I will do what to buy what not to buy at the Dollar Tree store because there's products that I do like from the Dollar Tree store and there's products that I know not to get no more <laughs> okay so we'll see you in a little bit bye Put it in there.
Three dollars. Yeah, that's a little expensive for that. three for dollar. We're gonna get some soda. Gotta get what you want. The score. today um this is what i got from the better buy discount store i spent 18 dollars i got this oreo pie for a dollar this for a dollar these were three for a dollar this is a dollar these were three three four dollar these were a dollar each this was these were three for a dollar. This beef jerky, all of it was a dollar. They just wanted us to take them. And then these were a dollar each. And then these were a dollar each. These chips. These were a dollar each. Uh, these 
for I think three dollars or two, two something. He's following you around wherever you move the food. So this was two dollars. Okay, so next video. Okay, this is what I got from Big Lots. It was over, it would have been like about 20 something dollars, but I had a five dollar off with my coupon. So I got cat litter and eight cans of cat food for $14.57. Now, um, the other store I went to with all the snacks, I have this whole big bag that I'm taking with us when we go out of town. So a lot of that was to go with us. So some of it's in their snack box, but some of it's going with us too. So it saves me money on eating out so much. And when the kids are hungry, they can eat that. Okay, uh, this is the last. This is all my Dollar Tree store haul. I've got one, two, three, four. This is just my daughter's lunch, mine, my son's, got some popcorn for now and for the road, and the kids like Takis, so there it goes now, got some teriyaki sauce, teriyaki, and then I got some jasmine rice. Okay, with the snack store I went to and the food I got from the Dollar Tree store, that was about $35 altogether, and then between... The cat litter cat food and the few essentials I needed for on the house that was about 15 20 dollars. So altogether today I spent about 60 bucks. That was really good considering um, I needed cat litter and all that. Um, again, some of the stuff is going with us when we leave out of town. So did a very well spend, very happy. Didn't need much, and that is it. So, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay functional. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And please check out my other videos for hauls and tips.